Hello, my name is Carlos Navarro. I'm an artist and educator in Miami, Florida. It's funny, when you talk about Mexican art history, what is it that you're really talking about? Um, really, there is no Mexican art history until the explorers came in the 1500s. Most of what was art, their art that we discovered uh, eventually came to light when the explorers conquered uh, the Aztecs in uh, the 1500s, uh, middle of 1520s actually, 1519 to 1521 was Cortez's exploration. Uh, after that, we get no art really in Mexico. Um, the Aztec art was mostly sculpture, uh, mostly architecture, and it was pottery and vases and so on. If you look at Mexican art today, it's pretty much the same thing. But then, of course, in the 1920s, you get the Mexican art movement started by artists such as Orozco, Rivera, Diego Rivera, and his wife, uh, Frida Kahlo. Um, Mexican art history is really a compilation of many different types of art. It's not just painting, uh, which Diego Rivera later made murals uh, to show the Mexican history, but it's mostly the art that you see just walking by uh, the art that you see in Tenochtitlan or Teotihuacan, uh, places that are as ancient as, as uh, Stonehenge, literally a thousand or two thousand years old. And this is the art that uh, people look at, whether it be you know, little figurines, uh, pots, vases, and uh, the sculptures and the architecture. So Mexican art history is very rich from the past all the way to today.